Hi guys, if you do not understand macroeconomics, in other words, what's going on around the world related economics, any financial analysis you make will not be healthy because macroeconomics is the most important factor that determines everything. Therefore, let's first look at macroeconomics, which will give us an overview of the whole picture. When we look at macroeconomic data, it is possible that there will be a serious decline in the markets in 2024. We can look hundreds of indicators, but in the sake of simplicity, just take a look at U.S. Treasury yield in different time interval as one of the important indicator. The three-month maturity yield is shown with a blue line, and the 10-year maturity yield is shown with a red line. In this chart, whenever the three-month return quickly exceeds the 10-year return and cuts downwards, a serious market depression has occurred. Actually, we can talk about the logic of this here, but you can find it by researching it yourself. In short, we can describe this as the economy experiencing a short-term heart attack or an increase in blood pressure. The maturity yield curves indicate that between 2000 to 2002 and 2007 to 2009 a financial collapse may have occurred and another collapse is about to happen in 2024. If we look at the S&P 500 index, we see that there was indeed a serious collapse between those years. The same indicator shows us that there will be serious problems in financial markets as of 2023. For this reason, we can think that the probability of this happening in 2024 is higher than the probability of everything going well. Our first determination is that the general financial situation will not be good in 2024. Therefore, we can set our midterm expectation in Bitcoin as bearish. Secondly, let's look at the sentiment in the Bitcoin market. Since ETF news and short-term weather are good, the general mood of the market right now is very optimistic unlike macroeconomic indicators. Being so optimistic for this price is the most important contradiction for us. Therefore, we have a short-term neutral view. At the end of the day, let's make this reminder. Free cheese is only found in a mousetrap. Be careful. Another reason why we may be bearish in the interim is that one of the key discoveries of Dow theory is that volume must support price action. However, the volume does not support the price movement over the last six months. This gives us the impression that the price increase is not solid and strong. If we take a closer look at the graph, the most likely scenario is that the price will move strongly between $38,000 and $44,000 before declining in order to squeeze the longs and shorts up and down. In this scenario, we expect its price to drop to $12,000 at most. But the price can increase to $48,000 instead before going down. This is the highest point where we expect the price rise. Afterwards, the price may drop to $15,000 to $12,000 range in the medium term, that is, within one year. Afterwards, there is a high probability that a new bull market will begin in 2025. That's it for today. Good luck to everyone and remember that nothing in this video is investment advice and do not forget to seek advice from an investment expert. For more videos, like the video, subscribe and press the like button to open with notification. See you later.